This is Ben Smith from Heart, and you're on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. We're Heart. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to see you again. Access.com. We're here with a very special guest, a birthday boy. He's going to be, I think, 26 tomorrow, right? Yeah, 26 again. 26, 26 again. over and over and over. The uh, one and only Ben Smith from the band Heart, and we are backstage at Darien Lake, and they just did a, a really uh, kick-ass set. Thanks, Gus. Uh, amazing set. I mean, how many bands start off with a uh, Led Zeppelin song and just kill it? I mean, and, that's and too fast. It. That's at, ballsy. At 26 years of age, that's just too fast, dude. <laughs> takes a lot to uh obviously heart's got a huge catalog and uh for you guys to start off with that song it just it just it was an amazing set all around you guys are in store if you're checking out this tour or if you have already obviously it's just you guys are just it seems like fine wine better and better oh well, thank you very much yeah man. we're having yeah. a great time the uh the wilson sisters uh and t tell us who else is in your band so there everybody out there knows yeah it's ann and nancy wilson ann's the singer nancy's yep, the guitar right. player right um, Craig Bartok is our guitarist. Mm -hmm. Christian Attard is our bassist. Debbie Scher is our keyboard player. And Ben has been with Hart for, uh, I believe, 17 years now? That's right. And you are probably the longest tenured uh, musician that's played with Hart, even longer than Howard Least now, right? I think. Yeah, I think Howard's with the band for 15 years, I think, at right? At least. Well, I mean, 76. He stopped working with them, I think, in about 98. Okay. So. Yeah, it gives you the uh, tenure. Does it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Hey, we saw Howard recently. Oh, yeah? Working with Paul Rogers. Yes. And uh, it was fun to see those guys. We were, when we were out on this tour, we had a day off, and we were in some place. I forget what town it was, but uh, Paul Rogers and some other bands were there. It was really fun to hang out. Okay, cool. Um, ben is, uh, like I said, the longest tenure uh, member of Heart now. And how do you keep such a, uh, a very positive, strong relationship working with the Wilson Sisters? No, I, I think the timing was just right for me. The interesting thing about my career is I came from playing a lot of different kinds of music, right. but was never like an 80s rock guy. I was never right. in any big 80s bands or anything. And I think that's part of what attracted me or attracted them to me was that they had a side project that was really different and very kind of, you know, much more eclectic material. The Love Mongers. The Love Mongers yes. or Love Mongers. Okay. And um, mm. so... That's how I ended up working with them. But over the years, we've just been able to keep communicating on the same level groove-wise. Right. And that's really what's done it for us. They, you know, uh, they've been kind enough to invite me in on all their records. And Nancy also composed for Cameron Crowe's film. So she was able to bring some of us in on that. So she had me play drums on Almost Famous and Elizabeth Town and Vanilla Sky. Right. She, she also did the music for Jerry Maguire. Okay. But uh, we just sort of developed a strong relationship over working together on a bunch of different projects. So we trust each other. You know, they trust me, which right. is great, and I trust them. So it's great. And for everybody out there who doesn't know, uh, I think you're the only musician that has played with both Nancy Wilsons, Nancy Wilson, the jazz singer, and Nancy Wilson, the guitarist. That could be true. <laughs> and another thing I tell people is I'm probably the only guy who's ever played with Hart who also worked as a union stagehand and ran a spotlight on them. <laughs> yeah, I ran a spotlight on Hart in 1981. I think maybe a couple times, the late 70s, early 80s. So pretty fun to later be a member of the band. Uh, some of the other artists you worked with. I know you worked with Peter Frampton as well. Um, name some of the other artists that you worked with. I worked around the New York City area a lot. Mm. So I worked with a few different people in that world. I did a couple gigs with Cindy, uh, Cindy Lauper back in the okay. day. I worked with, there was a woman who had some uh, kind of pop hits named uh, Phoebe Snow, who was famous right. for her song Poetry Man back in the early 80s. But uh, I'm more just sort of bounced around with other guys who are really strong professional musicians, like the guys who are in uh, the Conan O'Brien show are good friends of mine. Okay. Uh, I worked a lot with, um, you know, a few different people in that circle, including John Harrington, who plays in Steely Dan now. And uh, then when I got to Seattle, I, I moved back. I'm from Seattle. I moved back there in 1990. And when I got there, I was working around with some of the guys in the scene there, like a... Uh, 
Chris Cornell's brother Peter had okay. a band that I played in. I worked with some other guys there. Okay. So that was right around the time I started working with Andy and Nancy. It was just after that. So. And one year ago, you guys released uh, your 13th studio album, Red Velvet Car. How much were you involved in the creative process of that? A lot. That's another great thing about them is they, uh, through the years of the 80s, when all the music was so controlled, mm -hmm. the uh, record producers micromanaged every single little element and right. made great records, right. but super glossy, very polished records, as we all know right, the 80s music right. sounds. Yep. So Ann and Nancy, their push back kind of against that was love mongers. Mm -hmm. And then since then, their ethic has been in uh, sort of writing the best songs they can and then doing organic performances. So what that means is when we do the songs in the recording studio, there isn't a whole lot of pre produced or pre-planned okay. stuff. We right. sort of figure out what works well that day, but we take our time when we cut a track to make sure we're in the right spot. The other side of that is they've also been working a lot with Ben Mink, who's yep. a really talented writer and producer right. from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, he did Ann's solo record, Hope and Glory. He did Red Velvet Car, the last studio record. And they're already well into writing for the new record. Oh, okay. Can you tell us about that, possibly? Yeah, sure. Well, I think we're going to be going in and doing some... Uh, we're going to be cutting basics, I think, later this year. Okay. And uh, it'll be another studio release on Sony. And Ben Mink's producing. I know Ann Wilson has already written a bunch of tunes with Ben. And Nancy's been involved in writing a lot as well. Nancy is usually the sort of the real motivator about getting mm. songs off the ground and uh, right now she's working on some other writing projects that involve her and Ann and Ann has really uh, sort of get, gotten a jump on it by getting some great lyrics done. She's very motivated right now and getting so, a bunch of work so done. So do you see uh, f like possibly 2012 release or you don't know no, when? I think it'll be 2012. Yeah. I would be surprised if it was, out by, was not out by late spring. My guess is the big push is on to get the basics recorded by the end of the year. They probably want to have all the overdubs done maybe late January, early February, okay. get the art done and put it out by May, maybe. You know, it's the record business, so right, you never right. you could get it done and not release it right. for a year. But I think they'd be ready to release Any it. Any working thing. titles or no? No, nothing no. that I know of yet. And um, this is the second studio album you appeared on. Obviously, you did Jupiter's Darling in 2004. Any major difference between working on that record and this past record? Um, gosh, you know, the only difference I'd say is just the difference in the production. The okay. uh, production team was Craig Craig Bartok, our guitarist, mm -hmm. and Nancy Wilson on Jupiter's Darling, the 2004 release. This last one was pretty much Ben Mink, okay. I think, got the producer's credit, although he and Ann and Nancy really co-produce everything. So it just lent a, it lent a different thing. Uh, Craig did a lot of writing for the record and got a lot of songs on there and great, you know, great work. But Ben has a very specific production ethic that he likes. Super, you know, he doesn't mind going weird and gritty. Right. And that, so it's probably a little weirder, a little grittier than Jupiter's Darling okay. was. And um, we're going to turn the uh, tides over to Seattle, your hometown. Yeah. And I know you got a, a side project called the uh, National Broadcast. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's a band I've been working on a little bit. Some great guys. Mm -hmm. I was the great thing for me at the, you know, sort of where I am in my career now is I don't have to you know, struggle to mm. get bands to to work with me. Right. If I have the time and they have the time and we all have enough interest, we can get good work done. So the fun thing for me was these guys were relatively new, although they had all been to college. Um, the one, one thing I tell people is they all show up on time. You know, they're all... They're really, not jaded yet. No, they're not <laughs> jaded. Their, their habits are really yeah. clean. They all have good paying jobs and uh, really love music. So they all work in a few different bands and are working on different things too. But we've had a good time writing and producing some songs for that. So and I'm sort of helping drive that, but everybody's really involved in the writing and the production. So And that's like kind of on your all time, like does that more during the winter when Heart's Not Touring kind right, of? Yeah, it sort of has to be right now. Yeah. I have a few different writing uh, projects with different people and then friends and you know clients have me play even when I'm on the road I go to recording studios to cut tracks for people so when I'm on the road I stay pretty busy with that but um, I do work on some production for that band and also another band out of Seattle right now called Queen Mary which has three girl okay. singers and pretty cool band there so any other projects you're involved in besides those two uh, let's see, what have I been working on? Um, I have another project. There's a pop singer who I know, who I may start working with in the Seattle area there. Uh, my friend Sue Polino, who's an award-winning uh, live DVD and concert DVD mixer out of New York, has uh, some projects that she's okay. including me on and 
And I just bounce around and record with people all the time. I have a friend named Kate. Kate Borkowski is a very interesting sounding thing. She uh, used Tori Amos's or Tori Amos's production team was so interested in her that they brought her over to England to complete the tracks that we cut basics on in Seattle. So she's great. Kate Borkowski sounds great. So, so you're very busy, to say the least. You're very very busy. Pretty no darn busy. Time. Yeah, it's it's hard for me to make enough time to stay focused on the projects that I've taken right. on right now. So. Right. And uh, also for people out there, he is a session drummer, and you also do clinics. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, I've been having a great time with that actually. I, you know, because I have the exposure of playing in heart. Right. Uh, I've been able to generate some interest in doing clinics, sometimes with the manufacturers who sponsor me gear-wise, and a lot of times just with local stores who are interested in doing clinics. I love kids, and I love to help kids get motivated about positive th things they can do in their lives. And uh, if they're interested in music already, I remember when I was a kid, it was hard to get people or professionals to come out and really engage with people, and that's something I really enjoy. So I enjoy doing that for stores. and. Uh, you know, getting to meet people, and, and if I can shed any light on the music business or drumming for people, I love to do that. But I do that, and uh, I do that a lot, and then I also do uh, corporate team building every once in a while. Somebody will call me to lead some, you know, a big corporate drum group, and I have a great time doing stuff like that. So. And uh, Ben was speaking about sponsors and whatnot. We have Regal Tip in the house. Uh, they showed up to the gig. And, yeah, uh, bless them. My friend Jay is here. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's a great guy, brought some stuff out today. As like most drummers or l most professional musicians on the concert level with established acts, I'm lucky enough to have different corporate, you know, different uh, music companies who allow me to use their gear in trade for me saying I use their gear yeah, and then and I play it go. on TV and stuff like that. So Pearl right. Drums, Promark Sticks, uh, Zildjian Cymbals, Latin Percussion, percussion stuff all those guys have been great to me over the years so it's been fun and uh heart is visiting the land down under in october is this your first trip to australia it is and i'm really looking it, forward yeah, to it. our bassist christian uh christian attard yeah. is from there so when we get there he's going to be the king okay. i'm just going to follow around yeah. i'd love to follow him with a little like a camera i'll, I'll, re right. I'll record him on my phone <laughs> just so i can see what he's up to when we're down there it's going to be a blast Anything else that the fan, Hart fans or Ben Smith fans out there they should know about for you the rest of this year or going forward? Gosh, the only thing I can really say is um, we've had a great year so far. We really thank everybody for their support. And uh, we've met, you know, I have literally met hundreds of great people on all the touring we've done this year. We played Canada in February and pretty much gone on from there. So just thank everybody for the support and uh, hope you enjoy the music. Look forward to a new studio album next year in 2012, hopefully, if everything goes right. And uh, check out Ben's side project, National Broadcast, correct? Broadcast. Na right? National Broadcast, right? National Broadcast. Any, do you want to plug any sites? Oh, you know, I have a, uh, my own website. Anybody who'd ever like to get a hold of me, please go to bensmithdrummer.com. And uh, any of the bands that I've mentioned all have their own website, so you can just do a web search for them. And check them out on the road. They're right now, like I said, uh, Death Lover's taking the stage. So we want to wrap up this interview. So check out uh, Heart Music, I think, Heart Band Music. It's heart-music.com. Yeah. Heartmusic.com. And uh, check out Ben Smith when you can at backstageaccess.com. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks, you guys.